One of the modified features in Premiere Pro CS5 is multicam, especially for music clips, sports, or different camera angles. Editing with multicam is very important. In this tutorial, I'll explain how to use multicam in Premiere Pro CS5. Here I have this project already created with four different shots, and I already marked three of the clips with the number zero, as you can see here. I'm going to explain you how to mark a clip and then how to synchronize them. First, we have to choose the clip we're going to mark. In this case, I want to choose an area where actually this girl is closing the clapper, which is going to be a little bit uh, before, just when she closes, right at that point. That's where I'm going to put my number zero. So you select the clip, position the CTI on the section that you want to mark and select marker, set clip marker, other number. In this case, I'm going to choose zero because I already choose zero in the other three clips. Click OK. Once you do that, you got all the clips marked. This video doesn't have any audio. I'm going to create a marquee, right click and synchronize it. You select synchronize clips number clip marker and leave it on zero because all my clips are number zero. Click OK. As you can see, straight away the clips are set to the beginning of the timeline. And then now we're going to proceed to create another sequence to be able to edit this multi camera session. To do that, we're going to the project window right click, new item, and sequence. We create a PAL sequence in this case, a standard PAL sequence, and I, we're going to name it nested. We're going to nest those clips. And in general, we're going to choose only one video layer in the tracks. So we will match to one video track and one audio track. Hit OK. As you can see now, we got a new sequence with one video layer and one audio layer. Now, the layer, the layer or the sequence that we were working before is the multi-camera, which is this one. We already select and we already um, synchronize the clips. And this is the one that we just created. So to do a multi-cam editing sequence, we're going to import the multi-camera sequence into this new sequence. To do that, just slide that, and as you can see, it's imported. We extend this. This clip is going to be about 30 seconds, which is very short. And then we don't have yet a multi-camera sequence. To do that, we click on the clip, right-click, and multi-camera, enable it. Once we enable the multi-camera, you can see the change is MC1, which is multi-camera 1. To edit that multicam sequence, we go into the window and select multi-camera monitor. Now we have this new window which is where the magic is going to happen, but also we have to look these audios. We have video number four without audio, and it's very important to know which audio we're going to follow. We got this option here where we can choose audio follows video, and then every time I click on different sequences here, different takes, the audio will follow that specific video. In my case, I'm going to follow only the video from number two because it's the best audio that I have and in the video layer number four, I don't have any audio. So I leave as show preview monitor and I don't choose any audio follows video. Okay. Now, to record the multi-camera sequence, what we do is we just play and press the record. We can also use numbers 3, 2, 1, 4 and so on. As you can see, now we have 
this sequence with all the cuts that we want to take and this is the edit. Now what we can do is we can do some improvements. And to do that you just play with the timeline and you can easily delete clips, put it back and forwards. extended and check them in the actual timeline you can see the changes and then you can minimize them maximize them do cuts etc okay my friends this is multicam editing in premiere pro cs5